Today, we celebrate Pentecost, a day that commemorates the descent of the Holy Spirit on the apostles and early church. On this Pentecost day, we remember the beginning of the Christian church's mission to the world. So today we dive into Acts chapter 4 where Peter and John went before the council because the Jewish officials had arrested them for teaching about the resurrection of Jesus. The council sends them back to their people to forward this message, but instead, Peter, John, and the church of Acts do the opposite. Hi, my name is Jenny Wong Clayville, and let's read what Acts 4.31 says today. It says, when they had prayed, the place in which they were gathered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God with boldness. Listen, when a physical location was shaken in prayer, it signaled that God's presence was in that place, and everyone in attendance was filled with the Holy Spirit. And because they were filled with the Spirit, they spoke the word of God with boldness. The Greek word for word here is logos, which means a doctrine, an ideology or message. And the word of God, which to us today is synonymous with the word scripture, does not yet at the same time hold that same commonly understood meaning. So if we jump back to the start of the Gospel of John, we read that in the beginning was a word or logos, and the logos was with God, and the logos was God. The logos, the word, refers to Jesus Christ the Messiah. They are praying for God's will, which means they are purposely telling God that they are ready to submit to his plan for his kingdom causes. And you know what happens? The Holy Spirit honors the requests by being present all of their days. The people in this room at that moment, if not even before, chose a journey into persecution, hardship, and even death. But the Holy Spirit never abandoned them. When we truly pray for God's will, we're saying, God, here I am. Use me for your kingdom and your purpose. This means we are working against empire, against anything that might be for our own glory, which means our lives will not be easy. If your life today feels anything but easy, I want to encourage you to take heart. Our lives here on earth aren't meant to be easy, but to be lived fully. So today, invite the Holy Spirit to overwhelm you with his presence and go out to live the Logos of God boldly.